In today's video, we're going to be turning 15 FPS into 60 FPS. Now you might be wondering, how are we going to do this? Well, I have magic. magic. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm using this software called Lossal Scaling, and they recently released a four times scaling mode that lets you interpolate frame rates up to four times. It's kind of insane. We're going to be using this software across four games, all of differing play styles and types of games, just to see how this software does in different types of scenarios. And we're going to see how they fare. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get on with the games. Okay, so I have to record all of this like in real life because <laughs> you can't really record interpolated frames. It's kind of like impossible. Possible. I believe you can do it with the capture card, but I don't have a capture card, so this is how we're gonna do it. You're strapped to my body right now, so it's kind of like weird, but you know, whatever. So what I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna use a software called Rivatuner Statistics Server, and we're going to limit the frame rate to 15. Now, once that's done, I can go ahead and open up Lossless Scaling. This is where the magic happens. This is the magic software that lets you interpolate frames up to four times. It's kind of crazy. So the first game we're starting out with is Resident Evil 4 Remake, obviously, you know, it's my favorite game. So, you know, why, why not ruin the experience for me even more? As you can see by the mouse uh, frame rate, we're, we're capped at 15. So that's, that's awesome. Now I already delved into what the lowest playable frame rate is on this game. You can check that video out if you want to, but we're going to see what we can do in terms of interpolating that into a higher frame rate if, if we can can even do it at all. I don't I don't know. Okay, this is 15 frames per second. I mean, it's it's something. I, I, I've played at lower and I've gotten kills. I, I've gotten a kill at win FPS in this game, so obviously I'm going to be okay at 15. Yeah, 15 is not a very enjoyable experience, I will say. It's definitely, it definitely could be a lot smoother. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and interpolate that to 60 real quick. All right, we have done it. Oh my god, this is weird. Okay, um, so it's... <laughs> I don't know if you can see, it's like, it's perceivably smoother, but like the frames look just off. Yeah, I mean, it's, oh, I don't know how to explain this. Like if I move, oh, if you see, oh, oh my God. If, if I move it really fast, you can see what, it's like, it's like it hallucinates stuff. That's not there. It's really weird. Oh my God, it's so freaking weird. All right, yeah, I'm trying to make sure everything's in frame properly, but I don't, but the, oh my God, that's such a weird, it's like I'm, I'm moving my mouse through like molasses. It's like, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's so weird and sluggish. Although I will say, if you move your mouse slow, it is perceivably smooth. Like it, like if it, it's only good if you move your mouse at a minimal speed. Otherwise, but if you do like this, it's like, oh. Oh my god, it's like it's like it's trying to catch up with the frames. It's weird, but I don't really know what I expected. I'm, I'm I was pretty certain that it would be bad anyways, but this is just odd. It's like hallucinating frames that aren't there. It's so weird. So basically, if I pan very slowly, it has some mess ups, but it's not that bad. It's like it's it's making it a lot better. Let me let me switch between 15 and 60 for you real quick. That, that's 15, right? And then I do the frame interpolation, and it goes to 60. Like it, it looks like 60. That's actually insane. Like, honestly, I know it's not that good for, for actually playing the game, but to turn that, that, that low 15 FPS into something that is this smooth, it's nice. It's honestly like, it, it could be a lot worse, but it, I would not play like this ever. I don't think that you ever, would, would ever even have the, uh, the willpower to, to try this. This is not, it's, not, it's gonna give you a headache, okay? It's gonna give you a freaking headache. And honestly, I mean, you know, if, <laughs> if all you wanna do in this game is slowly pan around, I mean, it, it is doing a, a job. Anyways, I, I, I guess this is bad, but it's still impressive when you look at it from like what we came from. Like, look at that, I just parried that, bro, come on. I wonder if it will be better with other games. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it will. Let's go ahead and see it in a different game and see how it does. Okay, I'm getting destroyed. <laughs> Next game we're gonna be playing is the finals. I already know this is gonna be freaking terrible because like Resident Evil 4 Remake requires a lot of fast movements, but it's not as much as like first person games like this. I really think it's gonna be like diabolical. <laughs> like, it's not gonna be good. Ugh, yeah. First person shooters not meant to be, be played at this slow of a frame rate, but this is just so we get an, under, an understanding of what it looks like at 15, but now we're gonna try 60. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, it, it's faring better than I thought it would, but it's, it's, it's still hallucinating a lot. I don't think this is gonna be very good for a snappy and competitive experience. Oh my God. Uh, uh. I mean, honestly, it's moving out decently well. Like there's not a lot of stuff going on going on, on this map. So it's not like the, the biggest, hardest thing to, to interpolate, but it's, it still has a weird, like, like look, look, look at the corners of the screen. I don't know if you can see, but it's like, there's like some sort of weird glitching thing happening because it has to predict what's gonna happen and it has such little information to work with already. Let's go and see if we can actually find somebody to, to shoot. Yeah, the delay is really bad too, I don't know. 
is is just not snappy. I don't know. It is is weird. I mean, honestly, it is faring better than I thought. Okay, well, I'm dead. <laughs> It is fair to, better than I thought it would, but it's it's still not ideal for something like this. Oh, thank you, teammate. I'm not going to help you very much. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go back to 15 for a second. Okay, yeah, it's it's definitely like a... I'm going to let other people play the game, so I'm not messing them up. It's, it's definitely better, but it's like... There's just these weird hallucinations that, that's happening that don't really help me out at all. And I'm going back to 15. I'm going back to 60. Huh. I think for, for watching content, it, I mean, it's still bad. Don't get me wrong. It's still going to be terribly, like, weird and artifacty. But from a distance, it looks okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Those stairs. Hold up. Yeah, when something has a weird texture to it, it's like it, it sucks. What am I doing? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't shoot with the crap. What am I doing? Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Bro, I have no idea what I'm trying to do right now. <laughs> No, honestly, 15 is really, really like latency too. It's not even the interpolation that causes it. My teammates probably hate me right now. <laughs> Going back to the interpolated 60. Oh, oh, please. Okay, okay, bro. Oh, oh, I'm hallucinating. <laughs> But yeah, honestly, like for what it is, it, it is bad. Don't get me wrong. It is bad, but it, it's doing something for it. Like this is 15 and this is 60. Oh, oh, this looks so weird. Bro, do you see all these glitches? Oh my God, that's so weird. Oh, isn't, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm going to move on to the next game. All right, so now we're playing some Minecraft dungeons and I have no idea how this will affect it, but I am playing with a controller. So it might be better, but we're going to see. We're going to see how it does in actual gameplay first with 15 FPS. Now straight off the bat, I can tell you this is very laggy and janky. It's not feeling very good at all. Let me see how it does with smoothing out the menu though. Okay. I mean, honestly, like there, there are some weird artifacts, but like it is smoothing out it quite a bit. Then going back to the 15. I mean, yeah, that's undeniably smoother when you go to the 60. Wow. Let's see how it does in actual gameplay, though. Now, starting off with 15, I mean, I can say this game is... I could probably play it at 15 FPS. It's, it's not, you know, the most demanding game in terms of, like, reactability. You just need to make sure you hit your enemies right. And, I mean, that's still doable at 15. The fact this game doesn't require a lot of weird camera move movements tells me that it's probably going to be a good experience with the interpolated frame. So let's see what it, what it looks like. Oh, wow. That's actually fairly smooth. Like, it just looks like 60, honestly. Like there's there's obviously some weird artifacts with like, weapon is not supposed to look like that with the, you know, how it moves. But like it's, despite the amount of artifacting that can happen, it, it does smooth out the experience quite a bit, actually. I can say that I come, I definitely prefer this over the like native 15 FPS. It's still not ideal, don't get me wrong, but it's so much smoother. There is some weird artifact. I don't know if you can see that around the character. But it, it, I mean, it, it's working. Let's go back to 15 real quick. Oh yeah, that's like noticeably much worse, but it's still playable. Even that 15, this game is playable. It's not a very hard game to play, but I will say, I, I think I might prefer it with the fake 60. I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely a lot of fake frames, but like it's undeniable, man. It just looks smoother. I don't know what this says about the future of gaming. I mean, obviously it's a very niche case for, for games like this. It works out really well because you don't have a lot of weird camera movements and it's just like a isometric weird sort of view. I mean, that's that looks a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. Like, Look at that. Yeah, I mean, that looks weird, but it, it's... <laughs> I still think I prefer like the little bit of artifacting that happens, or, or a lot of bit really, it's a lot of artifacting, over the base 15. Like that explosion was pretty smooth, I mean, you know, stuff is smoothed out enough to a point where it's like it's not the most terrible thing in the world. Anyways, I think that concludes my thoughts on this game. Because, I mean, you know, obviously there are some pros and cons to it. But I think overall I do prefer the fake 60 to the, the real 15. Because it just, it is just, oh my god, it does make such a difference in this game. That's so cool. Anyways, let's go on to the next game. Alright, so the final game I wanted to test today is Terraria. The reason I want to test a 2D game is because I want to see how the frame interpolation interacts with, you know, less detailed information. Alright, so starting out at the 15 FPS. I mean, honestly, it's still a playable experience. You can still like understand what's going on, but obviously it's not very smooth. You know, you're going to have these weird frames that just don't look the prettiest. But I mean, overall playability is fine for a game like this. But if we switch over to the interpolated frames and see how it does. 
I mean, it, oh my god, it actually smooths it out a lot. Now that's not without its own imperfections. There are like little weird artifacts around the character and the trees, but like for what it is, it's doing a really good job of smoothing it out. The more busy the stuff is, I mean, it definitely seems like there's there's more artifacts, but I mean, in terms of the general just scrolling of the screen, it smoothed it out a lot to the point where it like, looks like a native 60 FPS if you aren't looking super close at it. So that's really cool. I mean, it's doing a good job. Now let's go back to 15 and see how it does with that. I mean, like, oh yeah, that's just like, you can see like the particle effects just are nowhere near as smooth as the 15 FPS that I can do. And the more you move around, the more you realize that stuff just starts like glitching out. Like, look at that tree. Like, you can just tell that something's up with it. It keeps flickering. It's almost like an old game. Back in the day, old games had to flicker their sprites. There was like a, a hack so you could have way more sprites on screen at once. Because if you flickered them back and forth, then, you know, the sprite limit would be hit in different intervals. So you could have technically more sprites on screen at once if you flicker them in the right way. So it kind of reminds you of that a little bit. Like it's, the actual like flickering kind of looks like the sprite flickering that you'd see in these old 2D games. Really cool to see that. I mean, it's interesting. It's not ideal. Like, you're gonna get annoyed probably from the amount of of artifacts you have, especially around more tree areas or like stuff like this. Like it, you can see that everything's just flickering. But I mean, in terms of smoothness and scrolling, it's un, like it's undeniable that it did a good job at, at you know smoothing stuff out. Go back to 15, and you can just see the immediate difference. Like it's it's just not smooth, which I mean that's expected considering how good it did in the other games. But like I mean, it's, I think this is probably best suited, at least in terms of this low frame rate, to more 2D oriented games. Remember that 75% of the frames we're seeing right now are completely and utterly fake. But that's just so freaking impressive to me because like that's three quarters of our, of our frame rate is just fake right now. That is insane to think about. But in conclusion, I think that this technology is very cool and it's definitely cool for some people who want to, uh, you know, raise their frame rate to be more smooth. But for, for a very niche use case like this, I don't know if I would entirely recommend it, but it is undeniable that it, it does a really good job at smoothing out the scrolling of this game. So let me know what you guys think and I hope you guys enjoyed this this, this interesting look at what this technology can do in pushing its limits. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.